Oh my gosh, this thing is money right now. I'm loving, I'm tipsy because I've been sipping on Henny. I got the study of my vision and she ain't from the city. And she ain't foreign and she born in love the way you twerk a shoddy. Throwing money on her own, I call it independent shoddy. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Evil Rabbit here on Forza Motorsports 7. We are staring at that Focus RS, but that's not why we're here today. We're here today, first off, to give away another poster here on the 25 Days of Giveaway here on my channel with another autographed Formula Drift poster. So if you guys want a chance to win this Formula Drift autographed poster card, make sure you guys comment down in the comment section down below, as well as be subscribed to the channel. Today's video will be for that autographed JTP Justin Pollock Roush Performance Ford Mustang autograph poster card. Car is definitely awesome being full carbon fiber body. So if you guys want a chance to win the Justin Pollock car poster card, make sure you comment down in the comment section down below. Now the reason we are here is not because of that Focus RS. It is because the specialty dealer has brought us some new cars, which I've already picked up one of them, which is the 2009 Focus RS. But it is for this BMW M4 Coupe. Now, I thought we could get the M4 Coupe, but you can't. You can only get the Forza Edition. So you couldn't buy the actual M4. So the M4 is here. We did buy it. And, uh, well, we're going to build a tune for it. We're going to make it slide. So we're going to go to the garage. We're going to get in the M4. And uh, we're going to build a wide-body M4 drift car now because I believe we can get the Liberty. We can. I already see it. We're going to throw on that Liberty Walk body kit on this M4. Throw that nasty Y body on there. Looks so sick. I do like that color, but we are probably going to go with the blue. So we're going to get into the ins and outs of this build. We are already rear wheel drive. I don't even know why I tried that. And then, of course, we got to throw on that Liberty Walk wing. Definitely love the way this M4 looks. So now let's get into the nitty gritty of tuning this car. Um, we're probably going to stick with the sport tires. We're going to keep the 255s in the front and the 275s in the rear. Sounds good to me. Uh, we're going to go into the drivetrain. We've got to install the clutch. Transmission is a necessary. Differential, definitely another necessary component. And the brakes suspension setup, we are already on race suspension. We're going to take off the sway bars because you guys know I build all my dunes without sway bars. We just, this just the stock ones. Got to throw a cage in there to make it, you know, FD legal. We're going to weigh it down a little bit, probably a stage two to about 3,100 pounds. And then time for engine fun. We already have the intake. We're going to throw in the fuel system. Ignition system is already on there. We're going to go full race exhaust. We're at 528 horsepower so far. Um, and I think we're going to throw on the bigger twin turbos or twin turb skis. Throw on the full intercooler. We're at 615. Flywheel. Not a big power additive right there. Um, we're going to do the engine for. I think we're just going to max this thing out. 650. Three and then throw cams on there 737 sounds good to me we're gonna do the 737 tune i think we're gonna leave the stock wheels on there for now i think we're just gonna yeah we're just gonna leave the stock wheels on so we're gonna have to go change the color of this because not a fan well i mean i like the the weirdish greenish color but not for what we want to do we're gonna have to do paint this customized car nope wrong one uh, paint car Because it wouldn't let me pick a color when I first bought it from the auction house or, or the special dealer which it probably did I probably just bypassed it. So I'm gonna go manufacture colors and get that nice Robin's egg blue Color which is probably my favorite color on all those m4s So we're good on that save the current car We're gonna hop into a track run a base tune on it and then uh we're definitely going to uh, try and modify the tune more. We'll probably go to Maple Valley for the first shakedown of this car. I do like the gold calipers, though. So we are going to go to our single player free run. 
Uh, we're going to switch this up to go back to drifting. Drifting eight minutes. Let's go to Maple Valley. Yup, Maple Valley. Go to race, and then we are going to modify the settings here on this M2, M2, M4, M4. Sorry. It's a little bit late on a late uh, recording for today, not my normal recording time. So I'm a little bit, a uh, little bit on the late, late side today. So had to do some Christmas shopping and stuff. You guys have got all your Christmas shopping done. Let me know down in the comment section down below. If you guys still got more or haven't even started, also let me know down in the comment section down below because that will also qualify you to win that JTP poster as well as you know get a little interaction going up in here. All right, so we, now we got to go to tuning. We got to tune this thing. Start with tires. We're going to go 28, 29, and 28. We leave the gearing because we don't know. We're going to throw nasty amount of camber. And then we're going to throw probably 1.3, 0 0.5. And then we're going to go all the way on there. And we're going to lighten the spring rate. Oof, not that much. That's, that's probably way too much gonna make that car very very bouncy and spongy how I like it definitely gonna drop this car as far as we can I'm curious how that's gonna look because the car's already pretty low from the start lower all this down and then uh, switch the braking up I'm gonna go with a little more braking than I anticipated before because apparently when I'm trying to tandem my brakes are not that great so we're gonna do a little bit more brakes. All right, we're gonna apply that setup. Yep, that thing looks so, that fitment on that back wheel though. Wow, that fitment is, is on point. All right, so first shakedown of this basic tune. Let's uh let's see how she does. As long as my wheel's connected and we don't have any technical difficulties, we should be good. We're good. Gearing might be a little off. Let's throw it in. Um. Uh. Well, we may not have to change much at all on this car. Make sure I'm on the brakes so I don't overshoot that. Wow. Um. If you don't have one of these M4s, pick yourself up an M4. Throw this tune on it and uh, have a little fun. Dang, I think we may have nailed this tune like from the start. Oh my gosh, this thing is money right now. I think we can adjust the gearing a little bit. lose those points we are on an extremely good run for the first shakedown of this car and basic two oh my I think I found my new favorite car I got a little cocky I was gonna try and run that outside edge but uh basic tune on this car I don't really think there's much we need to change. I think we got this right on the money. Maybe adjust the gearing a little bit. Ooh. I don't know how I saved those points, but I did. Holy cow. This car. Um, but yeah, definitely go pick yourself up an M4 from the specialty dealer and throw a tune on it. If you want to try this tune, definitely give it a shot. But yeah, we're going to see how this works right here. Enter in. Make sure it wasn't like a fluke. Nope, it was not a fluke. Definitely not a fluke. We may not actually change gear ratio. 
Maybe a tick more acceleration. But this car handles so much, so much better than any of the other cars I've tuned so far. Um, I think we uh, I think we got a good one here. Was able to save that though. I mean, I don't know about you, but you tell me. What do you think? I think I need a little gear ratio change. Other than that, this thing is uh, this thing's definitely nice. We'll see if we can't not screw up this turn this time and see if we can't get all the points. That's what I tried to do last time and I screwed up, but we kind of got it this time. Don't lose those points. Oh my gosh. Um M2. Was good. M4. So much better. Factory M4, Liberty Walk body kit. Not a Horizon or Forza edition. Just a straight M4 from the specialty dealer. Oh my god, we almost tail tapped that. Yep. I think we're going to just gearing a little bit, change up the track, probably hit up Dubai, and uh, give this thing a run for a money. This thing is uh, insane. So we're going to go with a little bit more acceleration on this car. Not much. We're going to leave all the other settings because this, uh, this M4... Uh, Definitely handles pretty well. I have to throw in the Dubai circuit. Pull Dubai. And uh, give this thing a run for its money here. Definitely would recommend picking up one of these from the specialty dealer before it goes away in, I believe, five days. Make sure you pick it up because I thought you could buy the M4, but you can't. It's uh, not available to buy. So, which is surprising. Well, at least in my game, it's not available to buy. All right, Dubai M4 Drift Tune. Let's uh, <laughs> let's send it and see how it goes. Got a got some good anticipation of this car from seeing how this thing handled in Maple Valley. So, let's send it and find out. Oh my gosh, I thought I was going to hit that. I tried to run that out as far as I could. This thing is a lot of fun to drive. Oh my gosh. Yes. See how it handles the twisties. Got one third. Oh, it's got the angle to hold itself. Oh, it's we're good though, but almost overthrew that. A little clutch kick, and we're back on power. This thing just floats. I mean, I don't know about you, but this has to be the smoothest car that I've seen so far. Just tap. No. Oh, just a tap and we lose our points. But you know what? I'm okay with that. Because I'm just going for these really wide slides. Things sound sick too. There we 
go. Throw it in. Oof, right on that wall. I should have stayed in third, but I wanted to shift to fourth to even keep it going. We did. Quick initial e break. There we go. Clutch kick. I thought we were going to totally screw that turn up. I mean, we screwed up a little bit, but it could have been a whole heck of a lot worse. Throw the nasty angle on this before. Ooh. Yes. I'm definitely happy with how this M4 is driving. On this full 900 degrees of rotation, Logitech G920 with a 350 millimeter energy innovations, minty green and white wheel. Ooh, just a tap. Oh, I got overzealous. I was trying to do multiple things. We wrecked it, but this is still a testament to how this car handles. Yup. Still happy with it. Long e-brake grab. There we go. Pick down the third. Oof. You know we're definitely going to try that first turn again at a higher speed. Oh, shoot. Oh, as I say, that we screw up. But I still think this car handles pretty well. Let me know what you guys think down in the comment section down below. Whew. We're going to try and nail this one turn here. Too wide. No, not enough. So I think that's going to do it here. For this episode here on Forza Motorsports 7. You guys like to see you want to see more tunes like this? Let me know down in the comment section down below. I would recommend picking yourself up one of these M4s and uh, throwing a nasty tune on it. Because this thing is insane. So until next time, guys, I'd like thank you guys for watching. I'm Evil Rabbit, and I'm out. I'm loving, I'm tipsy, cause I've been sipping on Henny. I got the study.